Welcome to Crazy Town's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. And I'm T. And T. Nah, nah, I'm the explosive one. And we're going to uh, start the timer. Oh, it's a boomed. It's a boom. So, uh, TNT, you want to tell the people what we did today? What, what, we, what, what we did today? Yeah, dude. You've been, you've been trying to get me to go along with you. All right, so I went along. Let's, let's preface it a little bit. You know, we don't want to just get right into the goodie. We're gonna we're gonna let them know. We usually jump right in, but I'll no, let you. I'll no, let you simmer it, dude. We'll slow little, cook it. Just a little bit of. Uh, so me and Jonas, you know, uh, COVID is letting up, man. The restrictions around this city are, are letting up because you know there's some a lot of diligent people in in Austin as far as like uh, you know trying to relieve the spreading of it. So we we decided to get back out there, man. We went to a we went to a bar, karaoke bar one yeah. weekend. Got a couple drinks. Nice experience, man. It really really yeah. felt like him the gym back again. It really felt like Norm. Me and of course we've been going to the gym. So uh, Jonas has been coming up with a lot of stuff because I hate to plan for stuff. But I decided to take the initiative, and I was like, Jonas, I've been thinking about getting to a martial arts class. I noticed that there was a capoeira course. Yep, that uh, is in Austin, Texas. Of course, yeah, dude. <laughs> so, Why wouldn't there be a Brazilian fighting, dancing martial arts here? <laughs> right, yeah. there's so many Brazilian dancers. Yeah. All right, so Jonas jumped right in. He was like, "Yeah, dude, I'm ready to go to Capoeira." Let's, let's go, bro. Let's so, go. So we went to our first Capoeira course today. It'll probably be my only, but you know. <laughs> Um. Yeah, we went to Capoeira training today, dude. It was, dude, it was Capoeira. Fam, I'm not gonna lie. All right, so you would think that was just our first course. So what are they gonna have you do? I mean, I figured you'd learn like the gentle flow of the of the uh, yeah. of the thing. Learn a couple kicks. So we learned like uh, if anybody's familiar with Capoeira, like the I guess like the neutral stance of Capoeira is the the jinga or the ginja. Yeah, Ginja. And it, yeah, and it's and it, uh, it's that motion that Eddie Gordo does, or that you've like seen in the movie. One, you, you put like one leg back, the opposite arm forward, and then you just kind of swing it back and forth, yeah. and back and forth. So it's kind of like it's keeping you loose and moving. Yeah, and keeping you it's loose. A good, like honestly, that's a good movement. Like if you just want to stay loose and like, so it'd be a good like stretching core mm-hmm. sort of like movement because it does. It's a lot of lunging and but yeah, okay. It is a lot of lunging. So, yeah, and, we did. And, and I found that it it improved balance because mm-hmm. by the time I we've been doing it because we did it basically like the whole class for the most part yeah and I felt like by the, like the thirty thirty five minute mark I was like okay I get it I wasn't making the same arm mistakes because there's like positions that your arm has to be for like defense yeah. or whatever except for when that guy came in out of nowhere and started playing a goddamn tambourine loud as shit while the <laughs> guy's trying to teach us how to do stuff he's just like bang ba ba 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 bang and I'm like. Bro, I'm trying to, like, learn how to do something here. <laughs> Came in in the middle of nothing. <laughs> but he was the grandmaster teacher, so what are you going to say to him, right? It's so funny because I didn't even notice it. Um, <laughs> I really didn't. I know what you're talking about, too. Yeah. But, yeah, and we, we I don't know, man. We, we did that. We did a lot of, like, just, like, exercises, Yeah, well, man. the first thing that I thought was weird is we were the Basically. only two people that showed up for the free class. Yeah. So, so there was us two, the teacher, well, the teacher's assistant, and then the guy who looked like Napoleon Dynamite, who looked like he did not want to be there in the slightest for uh, any possible reason. I mean, look, he was just like, oh, dude, I'm going to Capoeira class, go learn some moves, go get some advanced techniques. I'm a freaking yellow green belt. And he was, <laughs> we come in there and he's learning basics and he's helping to teach like basic people. Well, you know, that's part of that. From what they said, that's what it is. It's about teaching, giving yeah, back, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, what else did we learn? We learned uh, some kicks. So we did We did a lot of ducking. There was a lot of, like, defensive maneuvers we worked on. Ducking, springing to the left, kind of keeping you, uh, you, you kind of spry. spry. Yeah. yeah. Dude, I'll tell you what. Like, trying to, like, do, like trying to watch someone do something you're just learning, but then also doing the opposite of what they're doing because you're mirroring them instead of, like, actually, like, being like, oh, he's on his left leg. I'm going to put my left leg back. No, that's wrong. You put your right leg back at that point. And you're yeah, like, yeah. I that was, my brain was just not firing on the synapse yeah. of, like. It, it was it was kind of tough, man. But, like, I don't know. By 30 minutes in, like I said, that, that Ginger was getting a oh, lot yeah. smoother. And that's what I told the teacher, too. That's why I could see that as your muscle memory grew, yeah. you would, it would become natural. You wouldn't even have to think about it. Yeah. So. 
No, I, I'm not even going to cap. I 100% had been practicing that. I wouldn't say like My extensively, Lord. but I'm not, I didn't want to go in there and I wanted to be like, okay, boom. So when he said that we had to do the AU or what was it? The, we, the, the IU, wheels? IU, which was the, the freaking uh, cartwheels Cart- that yeah. we had to do. Hey, yo, man, look, all right, I'm going to let you know, your boy been in the gym a little bit. But I'm not doing no damn cartwheels, all right? I'm a man no. of a certain age, and I don't be out here doing cartwheels. And my boy Jonas, he don't do cartwheels. No, I, I did. I tried a little bit, but no. like a minute, I was like, oh, I got my. I was like, I just felt like I would break my neck. <laughs> like my 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 thought process was: Is it so important I do this cartwheel that I potentially break my neck, or do I just kind of try to do one right. and make sure I'm I'm able to live? And they had like hardwood floors. Yeah, there was man. no mat. Was like, bro, yeah. yeah. If yeah. I fall, I'm going to hurt myself. Yeah, exactly. You know? And I was like, oh, I'll swing my hips over and stuff. So, did it. Like, nah, dude, get the f out of here, man. Oh, you already had me ball barefoot, and my feet are black as the coal, dude. Like. <laughs> When was the last time they mopped that floor in there, oh, dude? I don't even know, dude, because I know I sweated all over that thing, man. Yeah, dude, I got probably your sweat on my feet. <laughs> hey. That wouldn't be the first time? I don't dude, know. Oh, that's that's gross. I don't know. But, but uh, no, dude, but overall, I would say it was good. I mean, I don't. Did, did you get the feeling that the teachers weren't that, like, into it? Like, it just felt like he I was mean, going through the motion. I mean, he was doing it for free. You know? I mean, but that's how you get people to sign up, man. You Amen. Got... Amen to that. And they definitely tried a little bit. Yeah. A little bit. And we got to play some drums, dude. <laughs> some drums and so some So apparently tans. there's a very strong correlation between the actual, like, the Ginja, the the uh, neutral state of Capoeira, and the music. You yeah. need uh, The music is almost essential to the the style yeah i asked him and he verified it is like the orchestra the, the the uh not the orchestra the composer yeah of of how they're fighting or yeah. not fighting or play fighting or yeah. real fighting because yeah. you can get like dun, 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 real fast and then they're like oh it's time to break some heads or you can yeah. just be like doop papa doop papa doop papa doop and then it's yeah. like they're just like in there showing it's, it's off they're like peacocking sparring. yeah peacocking sparring the setting you know uh yeah it, it, it's a very very interesting thing we learned a lot about like the the birth of capoeira and about how it's a very uh it's a very competitive very alpha sport dude. very alpha it has like a whole hierarchy that is kind of just defined on you being able to put somebody on, on, their, ass. on their ass yeah yeah yeah, beat them up a little bit. Yeah, the Let better them. you are, the less likely you're gonna get swept out and look yeah. like a bee, dude. And if you get, if you from a lower rank get caught like putting somebody from a higher rank on their ass, then somebody from a higher rank than the person you put on their ass is gonna come and put your low rank ass on your ass. Yeah, dude, it, it's it, very competitive. It, it just seems like it's like the it's. It just reminded me of like just peacocking constantly. It, it is, and and you know what? It, it it's they're gonna take their shirts off and get all oiled up and peacock. In front of each I, other. I respect it because it it, it kind of speaks to like uh, where Capoeira started. Oh, for sure. Like it, it's a hundred percent like uh, I hate to say it, but it's kind of like hood mentality or even like <laughs> I can see that like a like a like a mafia mentality yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. Where it's about. Yes. Well, here's the other thing. It's hard. I'm higher. I'm higher ranked than you. Submit, yeah. You know. But it's hard, dude. Like respect the like how hard it is on the body to do that stuff. You have to be exactly. in shape to do it. Exactly. And that's like, why those. That's why those people who are a certain rank feel like they deserve it. You know. Yeah. They're like, I've been keeping this up for forty years. Like, yeah, get the hell out of here, dude. And uh, they so apparently to even get to the highest belt in Capoeira, which uh, white belt, right? Yeah, white white belt. Yeah. You can't get there until you're age forty, right. and the the guy who we were being instructed by, he was like midway, right? He was like, like the guy, the, the teacher guy, the owner guy that came in at the end, the teacher guy. Yeah, he said he was like fifty six at the, one point. Fifty six years old. Yeah, he said he'd been doing it for fifteen years. Oh, and that's crazy. And he still was not even like halfway up the, or he was yeah. like maybe in the top. The the teacher guy, you were talking to somebody else. I asked the teacher guy. He said he'd been doing it 30 years since he was 10 years old, and he's four levels from master still. That's yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, so he's a 30-year experience, and he still has th- four more belts to go. So it's like I, I almost saw that as like the belt system isn't like, 
really the the primary focus of no it. it's it's alpha man out dude and i kind i kind of like that honestly that the belt ideals are not the focus it's more about just doing something that you like you know exactly because exactly. a lot of people when you when you start throwing like uh you know uh trophies and like uh accolades accolades into something yeah it can de- disinterest people in something yeah so yeah exactly it's about going out there and having fun exactly so we're out of time so you signing up or no Absolutely not. I am not either. So that's all the time we have for this episode. Please go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. Do you think? Uh, we out.